in Kingsville, 63-59. The final score, Tarleton State wins it over Texas A&M. Kingsville, it's time for our Tech Star Kubota New Holland postgame interview with Tarleton State head coach Misty Wilson. Coach, not the prettiest performance, but as you always say, getting a road win inside the Lone Star Conference, that's always a good thing. Yeah, you know, we'll take it. That's why I just told him in the locker room. You know, it wasn't pretty, but it's a road win. And, uh, you know, any win in this conference is great. A road win is even better. You've talked about the concerted effort y'all have had rebounding the basketball. You get out-rebounded by four in this one, but you look, this is a little bit bigger group in Kingsville. Angelica Wilson had a really big night on the boards herself. I thought your group just kept fighting and fighting and fighting down on the boards tonight. Yeah, I mean, we had 13 offensive rebounds, you know, and, and you know, that, to me, that's probably the difference in the game. It, it's the, the extra opportunities that we got, you know, on the offensive boards, and I thought our guard, you know, once we addressed it in, in one of our timeouts, I thought our guards did a really good job of crashing the boards and getting their hands on some balls and getting those extra possessions. One thing I thought your guards did a terrific job of tonight. They played very under control. Only 10 turnovers in what's a really tough environment in this one. Your group played really well in the half court. Yeah, I thought I thought we took care of the ball. And really, I thought we got some shots that we wanted to get. You know, there were only a few possessions that I, I can think of that we really just took really bad shots, ill-advised. But really, we were getting shots in the paint. You know, it was real physical. Mac was one for 13. And I think... You know, if, if they're going to allow, you know, teams to be that physical with us in the paint, we've got to learn to adjust. And, and, you know, Mac will do that. She'll bounce back. She'll have a – you know, I know she was frustrated tonight, but she'll bounce back and have a good night on, on Saturday. You talk about McKenzie. Didn't get it going offensively. I thought she had one of the biggest rebounds and defensive plays of the game, late, down, low. She never quit on that end, and that's what she gives you night in and night out. Yeah, and, and I thought she had, she got her hands on a lot of balls, really, down there in, in – uh, in the half-court defense and, you know, did some things to affect the game. You know, whether she's scoring or not, doesn't matter. You know, uh, for us, if she's on the floor, teams are going to have to be worried about her. They're going to have to address her, and, and it's going to open up stuff for other people, and I think that's what happened this evening. One player Kingsville was worried about, didn't have any answers for down the stretch, was Katie Webster. Coach, 22 points, 14 rebounds. She was at her best today. I thought she was really good when working off the dribble. Yeah, I thought she did. Well, you know, that first half I talked to her, you know, and she was or the first half of the first half. And, uh, you know, she was kind of frustrated. They kept blocking her shot. And I told her, I said, face up and play it like a guard. You know, attack their feet. Use your ball face. That's when you're your best. And then she started doing that, and it really made a difference for her scoring-wise. One thing I talked to Carly Moore at about the half, Bailey Peck gets 14 minutes. Nina Alvarez gets 13. 11 from Lucy Benson. You get good minutes from Nina Alvarez, Michaela, Trey Jort. This is a long road trip, this final four-game swing, and now you've got a little bit fresher bodies going into Saturday. Was that the approach? Yeah, you know, we try to, you know, at times I try to get on minutes without sacrificing games. You know, I try to get on a little bit of rest, try to keep their minutes under 30. Um, you know, any opportunity you have to do that. But, uh, you know, they understand the load they have to carry. And, and I, thought, I thought our bench came in and gave them a breather when they needed to. I mean, they, to me, they never looked worn down or tired. And it wasn't a, a really fast-paced game. So I felt like we were able to leave them in there and, and they could play a few more minutes. Seems like this time of year every game gets titled like this. You got a big one on Saturday. I'd argue the game of the year against Angelo. Got to find a way to get another one on the road. Yeah, we do. I mean, it, it's the name of the game. And, uh, you know, the good thing is, is this is our last road trip. We get to go home for several games and so we want to finish off the road strong and and you know just go into the the end of the season uh with some momentum great job tonight coach go enjoy it with your girls right, thank you Kyle